Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. Well, we're in the end. And little does my friend Cordy know that I've set up this one-way glass wall, which means I'll be able to see exactly what mobs he spawns in and spawn in the exact counters to them. So anyways, Cordy, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, but I am totally gonna destroy you. Yeah, okay, whatever you say, Cardi. Well, in that case, let's go and start the mob battle. So now that it's the first round of the mob battle, let's see what Cardi's gonna spawn in. And it looks like he is spawning literally the most basic end mob, which is an Enderman. And honestly, I have a perfect counter for this. So let's go grab the spawn egg. And we're actually gonna grab two things. We're gonna grab this thing called an Ender Soul Hand and a Mutant Enderman. And let's go. Let's spawn in our army. And our army looks way better than Cardi's already because it is literally just the mutant version of his army. But honestly, I kind of want to completely destroy him, so let's just make a whole army of these mutant endermans. And this is gonna completely destroy Cardi's army. But you're probably confused as to what I am holding, and let me show you. This is a weapon I'm gonna be using during the mob battle that can literally pick up box and throw it at a mob. And look at that. That is actually really cool. But it basically destroys the arena, and it's gonna be so crazy to use in the mob battle. But anyways, now that we have our army that is just way better than Cardi's army and we can make it even better by spawning even more, let's ask him if he's ready for the first round of our mob battle. And so, Cardi, are you ready for the first round of our mob battle? Yes, I am, Smirky, and I spotted the best end mob ever. You spotted the best end mob ever. I mean, Cardi, I'm gonna be honest, Endermen aren't that good. Like, they're kind of the most basic end mob you could have chose. How do you know I have Endermen? I literally didn't even tell you. Okay, I just went on mute. I'm gonna completely lie and just say, like, a few of them teleported onto my side. Um, well, Cardi, a few of your Endermen actually teleported onto my side, if you didn't know. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Wait, you probably could spot the exact counter to my Enderman then. Yep, you're right, and in that case, I'm gonna drop the walls in three, two, one, let's go, and yep, I did spot in the exact counter, Cardi. These are literally just Enderman, but more powerful. I hate these stupid Muted Enderman. Yeah, you probably should because they are literally going and chasing your Enderman and destroying them. And I am gonna start using this insane ability. So let's go and throw this at his Enderman. Come on, let's go. Just pick up the blocks and wow, they can teleport away from them. Okay, that's kind of cool. Smirky, there are so many blocks flying everywhere. How is this happening? Um, I have no idea, but little does Cardi know. And part of it's because I can just pick up a block and throw it at his mobs. Uh, yeah, Cardi, there are a lot of blocks. Flying in. What is your statue, by the way? Marky, this is a statue of my Enderman. I thought it would help motivate them, but they're all dying. Cardi, I'm gonna be honest. If someone built this statue for me, I wouldn't be that motivated. What do you mean? It looks just like an Enderman. Uh, yeah. Anyways, it looks like your army's just getting completely decimated. Like, I, I don't really see that many Endermen anymore. Yes, Marky, I started with like 30, and now there is like less than five, I think. Yeah, there definitely is less than five, and, and I just went on mute, and I I'm gonna try and say I'm doing some insane attacks with my Enderman. And how I'm gonna prove that is by using this thing called a physics dynamite. And we're just gonna throw this and make all the blocks all around the arena fly. So let's go and throw that at the Enderman. And oh my gosh, all the blocks are flying now. Smirky, why is there a ton of blocks flying everywhere? This is even more than the start. Hey, Cordy, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like you have no Enderman left. And it's just a my muted Enderman. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Uh, no, I'm not kidding you, Cardi. But I think it's clear to say I won. So let's go on to the next round. And now the arena is reset. But don't leave because that was literally the most basic pranks that we can do against Cardi. So let's go on to the second round and start doing some better mobs. So what is Cardi gonna do for this round? It looks like he's building some kind of glass dome for his mobs. Okay, well that's a little bit weird. But what is he gonna spawn in there? And it looks like he is spawning in iron golems. And luckily for me... I have the perfect counter for these mobs, and it is the better end version. And the better version I want to spawn in is this thing called the Ender Golem, and look at these guys. And these guys have an insane attack called the Void Core, and when you right-click it on the ground, it creates this giant purple rock attack. And just to show you how strong this is, let's build a glass 
grass walks like this. Okay, and then let's spawn in a few villagers sitting here. And now let's do this insane attack! And dang, that just killed everything. What the heck? So yeah, that was actually insane. But that is the attack that these guys can do. And honestly, they're just gonna crush those normal iron golems. And during the battle, I'm gonna make sure I use this attack so I can cheat a little bit harder. But let's see if Cardi's ready for this mob battle. And Cardi, what are you doing right now? Well, I'm just getting some blocks because I actually want to build a giant statue to motivate my mobs again. Oh, you're building a giant statue? Yes, I am. And Smirky, I don't know if you're building a statue, but if you are, it's going to be way better than yours. Way better than mine? Okay, there is no way it's going to be better than mine, but I, I think I have to prove you wrong now. Okay, so I just went on mute and I feel like we got to make a cool statue now. So let's go and start building one. So let's grab our blocks for our build and let's start building our guy. So let's build our mob's legs like this. There we go. Now let's add this crying obsidian to the legs to make it look how these guys look. And there we go. Now that the legs are done, let's add in some big body part just like that. And now let's fill this all in with the black wool. And there we go. Now we have the body built. Now let's build its huge arms. There we go. That's one arm. And then the second arm like that. That looks pretty cool. But now we got to do its giant head. And it looks like that. So I guess we got to build like a big rectangle coming from here. So let's get the shape of it like that and fill it all in with black wool. There we go. Now we have a cool shape of our guy done. And now let's add all the details like its purple eyes, its crystals, and this giant thing on its back. So let's build its eyes like that. Okay. Now let's fill it all in with crystals. Okay. Let's do the cool crystals on its arms like this and on the rest of its body. Okay. This is looking kind of cool now, but I feel like it would look better if we replace the black wool with obsidian. And yeah, I'm right. That looks a lot cooler. So now let's build this giant crystal on its back using concrete. There we go. Now let's add some details on it. And that looks pretty cool, but it would look cooler if we did a cool glass design on it. And that looks pretty cool. And I think our statue looks way stronger than Cordy's uh, iron golem statue. What the heck is that? But now I think we are ready for the mob battle. So let's ask Cordy if he's also ready. So Cordy, are are you ready for the second round of our mob battle? Yes, I am, Smirky, and I built a way better statue than you. I already know. Cardi, uh, that statue is not way better, but I think my statue is definitely gonna crush yours. Well, maybe we just have to drop the walls and see. All right. Well, then, Cordy, let's drop the walls in three, two, one. Let's go in. My guys are all waking up, and they're all trapped in a group for whatever reason. Wait, what are these things? Uh, these are the enders. Golem said, wow, that is uh, such a weird coincidence that you also did golems. And why are they in a glass dome? Because, Smirky, I needed to keep them safe. Once I break all this glass, they are not going to be safe. And honestly, let me just do a command to get rid of all the glass. And now they are not safe. And uh, my guys are slowly coming over. Oh my gosh, when your ender golems come to my iron golems, I am not going to be able to win. Yeah, Cordy, there is no way you win. And now they're coming over to kill all your iron golems and I think they're all about to die. Look at them. You can see all the cracks on their bodies. They're all dying. Yep, they are all dying. Let's go. This is actually so cool and I just went on mute. You know what's even cooler is I'm not even having to use this attack because these guys are just so strong. Smirky, I only have one iron golem left. Cordy, that is right. You only have one iron golem left and your army is completely devastated now. Oh my gosh, Smirky. I totally thought I was gonna win. Iron golems are supposed to be strong. But wait, look, there's one more up here. Cardi, you just spawned that one in. But since you spawned in a mob, Cardi, I want to do something kind of special. Wait, what do you want to do? So let's make a glass platform up here, right? And then I want to test something. So let's grab a hundred iron golem spawn eggs. And if you can win this round, you just win the entire of mob battle. And I don't know if you're going to be able to win with even a hundred iron golems here. Smarky, a hundred iron golems is totally going to kill all those ender golems. I don't think there's a single one way that these iron golems can kill like the 10 ender golems I have down there, but I think this is enough. Yep, this looks like 100. Maybe we should just drop the glass and I'm about to win. Cardi, you're not about to win, so let's set this as air and let's go! And hey, Cardi, they're all about to die. <laughs> what? How are they dying so fast? 
Um, Cardi, didn't you say that you were gonna win with these hundred iron golems? Wow, Smirky, I was supposed to, but they're so powerful. Okay, I just went on mute, and now let's use this attack. And look, it's killing all the iron golems. Smirky, what is all this purple stuff coming out the ground? This is so weird. Uh, well, it's not really that weird. It's just my guy's special attack in, uh, was that, what, under 30 seconds that all of these guys died? I think that was definitely under 30 seconds. Are you kidding me? Well, Cardi, you're gonna have to try way harder on the mob battle because honestly you kind of got crushed that round let's just reset it smirky all right let's go and there we go the arena is now reset and let's move on to the third round and cardi before we actually move on to the third round and i do some more things i have to tell you one thing what do you have to tell me uh you should spawn in the most op mob you can think of uh okay i mean thanks for the advice oh um, yeah you're welcome cardi and hopefully you spawn in something really good because I'm gonna spawn in something really good. And while Cordy's spawning in that really OP mob, honestly, I think we move on and try and find a good mob for ourselves. And I found a perfect mob. And that mob is the Ender Guardian. And look at this guy. He's almost half the size of this wall. And this guy's just insane. And what his attack is, is this insane thing that allows you to pull any mob near you. But it's kind of hard to pull this one because it is so huge. But look at this one. Weapon. That is actually really cool. But what we're gonna spawn in is a few of these Ender Guardians. And I think five is definitely the right amount to spawn in because these guys are huge. But now that we spawn in our mob, honestly, let's go and look and see what Cardi's doing. And what the heck is he doing? And it, it looks like he has a silverfish in a cage. What the heck? Wait, let me just tell him that's not an end mob. Um, Cardi, you know that silverfish aren't an end mob, right? I can hear that silverfish squeaking. Well, you can hear hear that silver fish? Well, I know it's not an end mob, but I'm building a contraption that'll turn it into an endermite. An endermite? Wait, Cordy, do you think those are really powerful? Why Why do you even have this in a cage? Smirky, it's because endermite are super powerful. I need to contain it inside this cage before it breaks out and kills everything. Oh, okay. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab an invis potion, and I actually have a really funny prank I can do. So let's splash ourselves with invis, and now let's go and sneak onto Cordy's side. Let's just get rid of this one-way glass. Now, let's go over to Cardi. What I'm gonna grab is an Enderbite spawn egg, and as soon as Cardi turns on his machine, or whatever he's building over here, I think it'd be funny to spawn in a giant Endermite. And Cardi is gonna think that, uh, this failure of a machine is gonna work, and that's gonna be really, really funny. So, honestly, before we do that, let's just wait for Cardi to finish his machine. And so, it's been a minute, and I think your machine is done, Cardi, right? Uh, is it done? Yes, yeah, Smirky, I think my machine is 100% complete. And, uh, what does it do exactly? Well, you already told me. It turns, like, a, the silverfish into an endermite, right? Yep. Well, uh, you might want to use it because our time is running out on this mob battle. Okay, I'm gonna flip the lever. Three, two, one, and let's go! And what the heck does this do, Cardi? I, I hear pistons moving. It's working! It's gonna turn the silverfish into a- wait! Oh. Smirky. Uh, I heard explosions. Okay, and I just went on mute, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn an endermite right here and make it huge. Ah, uh, Smirky, I think my machine failed. Wait, wait, what is this thing? Wait, it spawned an endermite. Uh, it spawned an endermite? How did you make a machine to turn his silverfish into an endermite and it actually worked? Well, it, like, all blew up for some reason, but I think that was part of it, and it literally worked. It spawned an endermite. What the heck, Cardi? Uh, okay, well, that's interesting. I mean, why do you want an endermite? Enderbite in the first place. Smirky, it's because it's super powerful. Literally broke out of the cage. That's how you know it's powerful. What the heck? Okay, Cardi. Well, I'm gonna resume the mob battle in a second. So you better hope your mob army's ready with that one Endermite. And Smirky, this isn't just a normal Endermite. If you're wondering, this is a giant Endermite. What the heck? Okay, maybe your machine was good and it definitely wasn't anything else that did that, right? Yep. All right. Okay, and now I just gotta sneakily go back onto my side. And you see my my mob army compared to that giant endermite I spawned in. Oh, this is gonna be so good. But anyways, Cardi, I think we are ready to drop the walls, right? Yeah, I think so. I think my mob is definitely gonna win. There is no way that mob wins. Well, anyways, Cardi, let's drop the walls in three, two, one. Let's go. And it literally was an endermite. And Cardi, they're literally going to attack the endermite. But why is it so fast? I told you, Smirky, this is a mutant endermite. What the heck? Wait, 
wait, did your machine actually work? I, I literally can't see anything. Yup, and it made it super powered. I can't really see anything either, but I think I'm winning. Guardian, it literally is doing a little bit of damage to my Ender Guardians. How? Because it's an Ender Might. It's literally more powerful than these stupid Ender Guardians. What the heck? But wait, why, why is it flying? Oh no! Oh, I don't know, Cardi, but it's literally so fast. How How is it this fast? I didn't even know it could be this fast. I'm actually pretty surprised it's spinning in circles. What the heck? How did you spawn this in? Okay, I just went on mute. I think when I made it, that Endermite a lot bigger, it actually turned it into its OP form. And oh my gosh, that thing is crazy. I actually might be able to win. I was kind of joking about the Endermite smirky, but it's actually working so well. I don't know how. Okay, and Cardi, what the heck? It's actually doing damage to my Ender Guardians now. Come on, come on, come on. Look at the top health bar. It's about to die. What the heck? How is it killing one of the Ender Guardians? It's literally at half health, and it's going into its second phase. And look, look, look. It's about to die. Uh, it is about to die, Cordy. Well, how did you spawn this in? I am totally going to win. There's actually a 0% chance I lose. Okay, I need to intervene really quickly. So what I'm going to do is I got to be quick. Uh, let me get something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this mob kill and uh, I think I didn't even have to use it because that Endermite died. Cardi, did your Endermite die finally? What? How did it die? I thought it couldn't die. I thought it was invincible. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Anyways, Cardi, uh, I, I think it's safe to say I won. I don't know how that happened. I guess you won. Ah, oh, come on. I thought it was gonna win. Uh, I, I thought you were gonna win too for a second and I wasn't gonna intervene at all. I was gonna play the mob battle out fairly. Yeah, of course you would. Yeah, anyways, let's just reset the arena. And so now we are on to the last round of the mob battle and I have a perfect mob for this. And what I'm gonna spawn in is the end Leviathan and oh my gosh this guy is huge. I, I literally have to fly out the arena to show you how huge this is. But it literally covers Cordy's arena too. What the heck? Cordy, do you see a uh, mob poking its head through your wall? Uh, yeah. I only see a little bit of its head though. It doesn't look that big. Uh, yeah. A anyways, so this is the mob I want to spawn in, and this guy is literally insane. And uh, you literally can go on the ground, and you're still under it by just a lot. You could probably build a whole city under this guy. This is definitely going to be the mob we used for the last round, and I feel like it's only fun if we also grab some insane dynamites to use. So let's grab some dynamites, and let's grab the best dynamites we can, like nuclear dynamite, gravity dynamites, and even some lightning dynamites dynamites and this is gonna be insane but anyways cordy my mob is spawned you can obviously see it but uh is your mob spawned in? yes and i have a huge mob cordy it definitely isn't as big as mine that's all i'm gonna say but in that case what i'm gonna do is right now i'm gonna drop the walls and let's go and oh my gosh Smirky, you just have to wait and see my mob it is so big and what i just turned around smirky cordy my mob is huge hey, what do you mean your mob this is like literally a lamp post what the heck? I didn't even get to see your mom. It is so big. Okay, and I just went on mute, and now it's time to use all our dynamites. Let's go. And Cardi, what the heck happened already? What is happening to the arena? It's just blowing up. And now it's on fire. And Cardi, I, I think the only thing left is my mob. Oh my gosh, how did this thing survive? It is literally surviving all this lightning and everything. How does it even do those attacks? I, I don't know, Cardi. And now it's starting to fly in space. What the heck is happening? I think it's doing a victory dance. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, Cardi, just spawn in a hundred more of your guys. And honestly, I just want to see what happens. Okay, Smirky, I'm spawning in all the ones I can. All right, and you're making them into their OP forms. Okay, that's kind of cool, but these are going to do nothing against my mob, I'm sad to say. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to throw a few lightning dynamites. And look, my guy is literally flying away. Cardi, I don't even think my guy wants to fight your mobs. What? Look at the attacks he's doing? Hey, let's throw some insane dynamites, and it is literally blowing up the arena, and my guy is flying away. Oh my gosh, he literally already knows that he is the ruler of the universe, and he's just flying away. Cardi, I would not want to see this thing in the end at all. That's all 
I'm saying. Me too. But uh, anyways, it, it is very fair to say I won that, Cardi. Yeah, I have to give you the win. That was so bad for me. I know. Okay, let's just reset the arena. So hopefully we can do that, Ocho. And there we go. Everything's back to normal now. Uh, what do you mean normal? Why is there glass on your side? Uh, I think that's kind of some glitch, I think. Uh, what the heck? When I right click it, it turns to bedrock. And on the other side, it's bedrock too. What? I have to come clean with you, Cardi. I was using one-way glass to just spawn in a better mob in. Thank you. Why, you were cheating with one-way glass? Yeah, I'm sorry, Cardi. What is wrong with you, Smirky? I never cheat, and I can't believe you just cheated. Here, if I give you the win, do you forgive me, please? Oh, if you give me the win, that will be fine. All right, let's go. Well, if you enjoyed this end mob battle, remember to subscribe and click on one of the videos on the screen. Bye. Bye.